you know when you like when you have your alarm set at eight and you don't you're so tired well you're so tired you don't even remember you switched it off and then you woke up an hour later and you look at your phone and you're like wow that's what happened to me today I've changed up my schedule to mornings um, during this quarantine because it's just enjoyable to have a good morning with you all I would say even my thought patterns and like even like my my whole like way I deal about the day is like changed completely because of just getting up earlier in the morning getting up in the morning at 8 or 9 a.m. this week has really been a big big change I would say um, the past following weeks I've stayed up till like noon or um, uh, yeah I, I mean I've slept in till noon some days or 11 30 yeah I think I think my life has cons like gotten a whole lot better because of these mornings having a morning to enjoy to wake up to is is really really great even just falling falling asleep my my whole goal right now is literally just to be is just to be in bed before um midnight if i can be in bed before midnight then i know i can wake up at like 8 8, 8 a.m that's eight hours of sleep it's great but when you i i call the hours of past midnight to like to whenever you go to bed you decide to go to bed I call those de degenerate hours I don't know um, I just feel like your worst your thoughts about life your your feelings like your emotions they come out like like you start getting more into like the existential like crisis zone when you like start um, staying up that late uh, at least for me like I start f thinking about life I start thinking about like things ahead of me I start thinking about the past I start thinking about the future like those hours really really can mess you up my coach used to say like he used to say like nothing good happens past um, 11 p.m. nothing good happens past 10 p.m. you know obviously like you have some fun times past those moments but it's true like nothing important in your life is happening past those hours usually I feel like staying up that late is just not helpful like waking up to the Sun I feel like has been a very very healthy thing for me recently so um, I highly recommend it Nadia and um, yeah so I'd recommend for you guys that are trying to get back into a good sleeping pattern is one Turn off electronics like this is crucial turn off electronics like 30 minutes before going to bed I still don't do that and I'm terrible at doing that and I'm just telling myself that's a very useful way of falling asleep faster is literally get off the screens get off everything that's super helpful set yourself a goal if you're feeling like if it, you're already telling me it's a bad habit right even though you like the late night you already said it's a bad habit so I would say just set yourself like a goal right like that's how I got myself going I guess find what works for you but for me it's just be in bed before midnight is my goal be in bed before midnight I don't have a problem getting up early I, I just haven't been feeling tired lately oh I had like cereal I still have cereal caught in the back of my throat. I, okay, I need water. I think I'm the opposite. Mm. Gives you less energy. Yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of similar. Like when I graduated from college, I feel like I had less energy for a while there, because I was such such a workaholic that I needed that like routine and things for more energy in my life. And that's been like a big big thing I've come to realize is that I'm that I'm um, I'm a uh, workaholic well I decided to pick up some shifts with work now that I know I'm going to be off for a month and that's not gonna help my sleep schedule oh okay well 
Yeah, that won't help your sleep schedule for sure. At least you'll be you'll be doing though. You'll be like on a routine of some sort. Being on a routine is is very important. But not yet what what you need to make sure is you're getting the right amount of sleep. These bad habits that we think we have, it all just kind of depends on if we have sleep or not. A lot of these thoughts, a lot of like anxieties, stress, motions just kind of is derived from not sleeping well I'm working late shifts no what, what I'm saying is sleep an adequate amount like you can work late shifts right I like worked in that factory that started work started at 2 a.m. for me so I was waking up at or I was getting my day ready at 1 a.m. but I think the most critical thing is literally just sleeping an adequate amount so if you're doing like a late shift it doesn't mean you sleep less it means you got to keep the same amount of sleep like keep your seven hours eight hours of sleep but you need to transition that to the day because otherwise you're just gonna be you're gonna be screwed um because Lack of sleep is where a lot of a lot of things uh, come from. At least in my this is my own experience that I'm tying it to, but I always function way better on seven eight hours of sleep versus six hours five hours of sleep. <laughs>